G'day guys, Mongrel here. Um, just finally getting around to uh, giving you some instructions on our uh, gimbal for standard discovery. Um, we'll, we'll keep it short and sweet and I'll step you through it all pretty quickly so um, you'll have a good idea on how to get this thing together and running on your copter. So uh, let's get into it. So we've got Frankie here which is our, uh, our test machine. Uh, Discovery, Frankenstein we like to call him. The first thing you want to do is get your motors soldered up like this one. Now we actually supply you a fair bit of um, a bit fair bit of cable with the gimbal, but depending where you mount your board on the machine, um, if you mount your board up front, oh, up front where we're going to mount it, um, you don't need these cables all that long. In fact, um, they you know probably half the length we supply you. So work out where you're going to put your board on the machine. Ours mounts right here, so it'll mount about there somewhere. Um, so just cut your cables to length. We will supply you with the heat shrink enough to do uh, two motors. Um, so solder them up. There's no rule of thumb on the motors. You can solder them in any order you like. So just lay the three cables straight down, solder it straight on. The reason we don't solder it is, as I said, you might want to mount your board up the back somewhere upside down underneath in here. It's, it's up to you. So we'll, we give you an ample length of cable. You cut and solder it to the length that you need. We'll supply you the heat shrink put it on, gives it a bit of protection. After you've soldered these on, we need to mount them up to the gimbal. So we'll do that next. Okay, so all I've done is mounted the uh, one of the motors to this piece. Okay, this is the basically the mount that holds the roll motor. Uh, mount it up. Um, uh, there's, a, there's a set pattern on the back. They use standard three mil uh, screws on the back that come with the gimbal, so it's all good yeah, with the motors themselves. You'll be able to mount them up. Um, mount it on and uh, Pretty much that's it, move on to the next bit. So take the two red spaces out of the front of uh, the disco and insert the piece with the motor that you've just mounted, that roll piece, this one here with the motor mounted on it, into the front of the copter. Uh, that is going to be your roll motor. I've routed my cable up through this piece here because my board is going to sit up front and that's right in line with my roll socket on my board. So. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that bit now. Mount it up, two screws on top, two screws underneath. Okay, next step is to take this piece, which is gonna hold our pitch motor, and uh, and the pitch motor itself. I've already cut my cable to length uh, and measured where it's gonna go on my machine. And again, with the same M3 four sockets on the back, we're gonna go ahead and mount it to this piece. Okay, once you've got that done, mounted, go ahead and mount the, the arm on the other motor using the, the three small Phillips head screws to mount that onto the roll motor and again I've routed my cable up through here because it's going to line up perfectly with my pitch socket on the board. Um, so go ahead and do that bit now and we'll move on to the next piece. Alright so the next step is to take this piece here which is going to basically hold the GoPro and mount it to that motor which I've done now. So there you have it. Um, now. We get asked a few times uh, online, you can choose to have your gimbal this way or the other way, um, if I can release my cable, or the other way, this way. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, it's completely up to you. Um, I've got mine set for this way. The camera's gonna be pushed out to the side here, so it won't matter, uh, so completely up to you. But go ahead and mount that now, and, uh, and we'll move on. So the next step is to prepare these two pieces, which is going to hold your flight cam, either the TBS 69 or the chip chip or whatever it is you're running. Um, and basically you put them together with the provided screws, and so it looks basically like that. So it then just mounts to the machine as such into the TBS camera plate mount. Uh, pretty simple. Solder it up if you want to secure it. Um, you probably might find it's best to mount your camera now before you put this piece in or before you solder it in at least. It might make your life a little easier than trying to you know, get in behind it here and, and bugger around. So uh, mount that all up. That's where your, your camera goes here. And we're nearly there. Before we move on to the board, um, the board is going to come pre-configured. Um, so realistically, you shouldn't have to do anything with it. Um, you should be able to just mount it up and fly. However, we all the links to the software are on the website under the product itself. So if you go to the Discovery Gimbal product, uh, you'll see there's a link there to the software. Um, we're also going to supply you uh, a couple of these pads. Um, I would probably just chop them in half and put them around the corners of this board to mount it to the machine. So um, we'll do that now. 
Okay, so I've gone ahead and put my board on the machine now. Um, I've just put the pads underneath, mounted up the front here in between all the screws so I can still get to all the screws. Um, for those that want to know, after you've stuck the board down you can't remember, looking down on the board, pitch is in the middle. I'll just turn that that way. Okay, pitch is in the middle. Okay, roll is on the right. So pitch in the middle, roll is on the right. Roll is closest to the battery terminals. Now, we supply one of these with the kit for those that want to be able to you know, plug and unplug it. That's fine. If you don't, you want to hardwire this in. If you chop the end of this plug on, it is long enough to reach the positive and negative terminals on the bottom plate of the Discovery. If you mount your board here, um, if you mount it further back, you'll be able to reach the ones on on either side, depending on your orientation of your board. So you get the best of both worlds in this situation. Um, USBs up front, so it allows you to plug in and program if you need to. As I say, pre-configured, you shouldn't have to. So I'll move on to the IMU now, get the IMU mounted on the gimbal and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so take that same bit of foam mounting tape that we gave you, another piece, stick it on the bottom of the IMU. What I've done is, um, the cable here, which is fairly long, it allows you anywhere, you know, put your, your board anywhere, I guess. Um, stripe is negative. There's a stripe on this cable, line it up with a negative pin here, and line it up with the negative pin here. If you've already stuck your board down, you're not sure which pin is negative, negative is closest to the battery terminal, okay? So negative on the right, looking down the board from the front, closest to the battery terminal. That's a negative pin. Stick one end there, one end on the IMU. I haven't tidied up my cables yet, but you can route your cables through and tidy them all up nicely. You don't have to have your IMU pointing this way. You could turn it, mount it sideways, and bring the cables out to the side here, and then sort of route them the same direction as that one. It's completely up to you. You just need to change a setting in the software to tell the, uh, the board what way this IMU is pointing. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Tidy all your cabling up, sit your GoPro on there, Bob is your uncle, one gimbal for discovery. Um, the, the board is programmed, you shouldn't have to program it, you might have to calibrate the sensors. That's, that's fine, plug in, calibrate the sensors, the instructions are all there on the simple BGC website by Basecamp. Um, do a calibration and then jump in your machine and fly like a madman. Um, some guys use some foam under here as well to protect the, to uh, isolate the GoPro. I've actually found just hard strapping it with a uh, with a Velcro strap or an elastic band, nice and tight. Don't allow the GoPro to move. Um, gets pretty good results. Um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. This will power off 3S or 4S. So if you're running your copter on a 3S or a 4S, it doesn't matter. It'll run it on both. Um, and you should get pretty good results. If you have any questions, give us a call, but that's pretty much building the Discovery Gimbal from Mongrel Gear. Enjoy.